Hello homeschoolers, welcome to the Land of Kek Yak. my name is Laurel. So we've been talking about, I've been showing you guys the study arithmetics series that um, you can continue on after number stories or you can use from the beginning. I showed you grade four that I picked up that. I just got grade five in the mail yesterday. I think grade six is coming. I love them. Like I have no complaints about the books themselves. I keep finding ones that are in really good condition and at reasonable prices, right? These like full color illustrations. Um, so the next logical step is to try to find the answer keys, right? <laughs> okay, here's, here's the rub. So um, I know I linked to, the, they call them teacher guidebooks for these that were in the um, Internet Archive. And I'll link all those for you again. What I realized um, is, and you can't print them out from there or anything, right? So I was like searching around for somebody maybe who had picked up the copyright and who was, you know, selling them or something reproduced. And I found a website, which I will link as Things Forgotten Books. And I just made my own little cover and I just bought the PDF. And you can actually buy the answer keys pre-printed. Um, you know, and bound, right? Just like, um, I'll link, the, I'll link to where you can buy those too. So the, in the internet archive, in the information, lo, uh, you know, loaded in for the workbooks, the guidebooks, sorry, the guidebooks, they're actually our workbooks also, but the guidebooks, it says the publication date of 1935, which is when my books are published. These are 1935s. Although, uh, so I went and I found at Forgotten Books, the PDF to buy. It was like $10 for my teacher guide, which has like an overview of all the lessons in it for like half the book. And then like the, it looks like this. Then it has about halfway through, I just, it flips over to all the answers, right? That you'll need. So I went ahead and bought it. I printed it out. It looks like the one, exactly like the one on the internet archive. In fact, I think it's the exact same scan because the one on the internet archive and the one I bought from Forgotten Books has this, like this K, like underlined envelope double underline. So I think it's like the exact same scan. So I decided yesterday to go ahead and look before I bought like more of the answer keys and just make sure that all my answers were lining up with what they had in here. So I went to like page eight to nine. And yeah, there are no questions on this page to answer. So I went to the next page and I was like, oh, it looks like it's these actually. It's like parts of them. I was like, maybe it's really supposed to be 10, 11. Maybe they somehow got off on their numberings. Anyways, I continued to look through it. It just got worse and worse. This answer key is clearly for a different edition than the 1935 version. The ones that have these cute, um, the ones that have these really cute covers on them. And I actually prefer the illustrations. So I was like, yeah, this is for a different, obviously a different edition. It's, it does not match this one, the one that is available to purchase and that's in the Internet Archive. So I went back to the Internet Archive. And even though they all say 1935 on them, I think I looked down. It looks like they were, I said, I need 1935. I think they were actually for a 1943 version. So interestingly, when you look through the online versions of these, there are no tight title pages. There's nowhere where you can see the copyright for the guidebooks. Um, but what I did like for this one, the number four, is I went online and I was looking for number four books for sale that had pictures <laughs> in them of the interior of the book. And I found one, a 1943 book four. And yeah, and you notice this says book four. I just don't, and I noticed that too. And this says grade four. So it looks like in 1943, at least, they switched over to calling them books and not like for grade. 
and yeah, I looked at some of the interior pages and matched it up with the answer key to the that I had printed. That was that it said it was from 1935, but it is not. The answer key looks it looks like from what I could see, like it matched up with the 1943 edition. And I should have known I, uh, by looking at the covers. I didn't inspect carefully enough. I wasn't expecting the publication date to be incorrect. They have the the ones that the available guidebook teacher's guidebook with the answers matches are the ones that have the covers that look like this um and they say book on them not grade yeah so long story short i from my 1930s versions cannot i have still not found any answer keys or guide teacher guides or anything like that to go along with these ones but if you get the 40s versions, there seems to be, there's like a workbook that actually you can, um, that I found. I didn't find one for sale, but I found one. You know, I found it in the archive. You can kind of see how they were setting up. I don't think it's necessary. I think you could just have them do their work on paper. But um, yeah, there are matching books and teacher guide books. And I will link just like a couple examples so you can see what the correct cover should look like for what's available for the PDFs to buy. Um, and, you know, I kind of looked at them and they look, I mean, it's the same idea. I'm assuming that it's just kind of one of those things where like they, um, you know, every few years they make a new one so they can sell schools a whole new book, right? Like this has been going on forever with textbooks. I personally like preferred the just the artwork that was in the uh, 30s versions a little bit more but I do I did like the ones from the 40s as well yeah the grade 5 turns into book 5 and it also has like an airplane theme so I know that like so they're similar but there are some obviously they've like rearranged like they kind of will like change the story will be a little bit different, even though it's still called getting ready for New York, like the name of the chapters are the same and stuff, but there'll be slight differences and the answers will not line up with what's in the other answer key for mine. So I'm like, I'm, I'm personally in a dilemma where I'm like, do I just try to get rid of my 30, 1930s set and buy the forties? version so that I can buy the teacher's guidebook from Forgotten Books or do I just make my own answer key or do I just check it like I mean I really think you could do a lot with just checking with your calculator you know having your child go back and just check with their calculator although sometimes with fractions and stuff that's a little more difficult so anyways yeah, I've yet to see any 30s version guidebooks or answer keys, but there are for the 40s versions. <laughs> so there is your study arithmetics uh, math textbook answer key update. And if you have any helpful information um, for answer keys for the earlier versions, the 30s versions, leave us a comment so we can all look. I am a little bit sad just because the 30s versions are cuter. They have cute covers and the 40s version have these really plain yucky covers that just look, they basically just look like this. Um, you know, they're ugly. <laughs> okay. I will be back soon with a new homeschool topic. If there's anything that you want me to make a video about, make sure you're leaving me a comment about it or asking me a question there so that I can research and reply. And I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.